my fellow knights, and welcome back to the Struggle Bus, where today we're going to be doubling up some sweet Forge tokens. But first, I do want to say, if you're returning to the channel, please do consider liking the video, sharing the video, and subscribing, as it helps me out quite a bit. If you're new to the channel, kick back, relax, enjoy the jank, and then maybe consider dropping a like. So, shout out this video is going to go to Dan Pierman, because he's the one that inspired this, which is comboing off. Mondrak Glorious Dominus, which is essentially going to double any token creation that we make, and Urbrask's Forge, which seems to be a fan favorite from all the comments you guys have been sending us, where every turn we put a, on at the beginning of combat, we put a oil counter on Urbrask's Forge, and then we make an X1 Trampling Haste creature token that we have to sacrifice at the beginning of our next end step, but it gets in there and gets a ton. So what we're doing, a little bit of control to be able to stop what the opponent's doing and then put as many counters as quickly as possible on Urbrask's Forge to overwhelm the opponent. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive on into it. Two churning reservoirs because, hey, it's a way to put counters on the Forge and should we start to lose permanents or we can use our facades to move counters, then we could start generating other creatures to block. They are tokens, so they synergize with Mondrak and they can get in there but it is kind of a semi do nothing and that's why we're only running two. Flame Blessed Bolt because there's plenty of mono red and mono black running around. So we want to get rid of those underdogs and those phoenixes for good as well as the uh, Feldens. One Destroy Evil, Enchantments and Ch Shieldreds are in the format. Another way to dump our oil counters should we not get our forges or opponents deal with it is Norn's Wellspring. It's a little slow, but there is some synergy in here. Uh, one, we can... Tap it with Sahili to draw a card. Two, we can tap itself to draw a card because we are going to be putting oil counters on it with our forge tokens dying. And we have various other ways to make tokens. So it's not super busted right off the bat. But once we get our engine going, this card can be very powerful. And once again, we can essentially take all those extra oil counters that we're getting off of our facades and our reservoirs, put them on this guy and turn them into card draw. Two soul partitions for early interaction, a way to save our Mondrak should we need to four experimental auguries to find our forges as well as proliferate them once they're in play and find the answers to our opponent's threats two serum snares yes it's not as good as fading hope but the fact that it has the opportunity to proliferate is quite powerful and so again that's how we're running it three lightning strikes for early interaction maybe going face if we need to remember we are dealing damage with trample so sometimes just being able to get a cheap blocker out of the way or being able to get a little extra reach goes a long way so that's why we're running lightning strike two magmatic sprinters as a hasty threat that can avoid board wipes and puts counters on our things one rebel savo to deal with shielded and other pesky planeswalkers a celestis fixing ramp Life gain, filtering, you know it. A full playset of Mondrak because we want to get there and because we're not running a lot of creatures, then essentially this guy is going to be a heavy target and that's why we're running four of her. Um, all right, you're going to see this. I, I, I'll be honest with you. I would probably take this guy out. The Tekuthal, he didn't quite play out the way I wanted him to. I think this is a flex slot. You could put whatever else you want, maybe another removal spell, maybe another token generator. But we're going to leave him in there because that's what the gameplay has. So, hey. And then finally, uh, three Sahili Filigree Master. She's actually quite potent in this list. And I'll tell you why. She comes down as a resilient threat to a handful of removal, right? We Her plus one can easily draw us a card, a card in half because of Scry first. Because of the fact that both Wellspring, I mean, Wellspring we do need to tap. But most of the time we're not going to. And... Orbrass Forge, more importantly, does not need to tap to or un be untapped to do its ability. So she can come down plus up to avoid any kind of potential small threat the opponent has on the board and then play uh, and then still draw a card off of Urbrask Forge. Or if we have Mondrak in play, she comes down and makes four Thopter tokens, which as you'll see in the gameplay is quite flexible. The minus four, not really a big deal in this list. I think you can potentially get there, but honestly, I was very, very happy with her with just the plus one and the minus two. So that is the list. The only other thing is, is that we are running for monumental facades as a way that we really, as you look, the only double uh, mana uh, pips that we have is really Mondrak. And so I think we have the flexibility to put in four colorless lands. 
and it worked out fine. I never felt like we were in a tough spot because of it. Uh, the oil counter, uh, yeah, once again, it it's great because it synergizes with churning reservoir to be able to make one ones, which Mondrak once again makes two of them, or uh, just simply pump up their brass forge the turn we play it. And we could also put it on the wellspring like we mentioned. Now I'm being just a little redundant, so we'll call it there. We gave the shout out already, so let's get into some gameplay. All right, we're going first, and we have forges, so we're going to keep it. This feels all right to me. I would like a piece of interaction that's, the. I mean, we're going to do it regardless if we have to, right, to buy us some time. We'll see how aggressive our opponent is, but... Uh, let's go ahead and do coast, because I would like to save it for after forge, but okay okay all right all right all right that's that's good that's good so farewell is going to be in our future so we have to kill our opponent before farewell right they could also be soldiers i think i'm okay with so ah sad face all right well play the forge they counter then we play the other forge. I mean, I guess we could not. I'm not sure. So do we Sahili, I guess? Try to keep our forge. Right. Sahili. If they have another syncope, I'm gonna feel silly. Provided the blueprints. Uh, I just made them let's shine. make two dudes. Make two dudes get in there, and then that way next turn we can. If we draw a land, that'd be nice because then we could go forge plus Sealy to draw and then oh, snare. Nice. Yeah, so they're okay. So we're not gonna get to. We are gonna bounce their. Oh, is it apparatus, right? Is what it is. So that's what they are. So it is a little unfortunate. Because I think having Forge is a good way to beat their, their board wipes, right? Because they're going to... We could put some power on this Forge, too. Nice, we did get there. Sweet. All right, let's leave up blue. Play Forge, and this is an apparatus, so I don't think I have a problem playing stuff. The question is, are we gonna Augury or are we gonna Snare, right? So let's plus, and we are gonna attack. This plane's Ooh, that's nice. We're going to leave that on top. We're just going to do that instead. And we'll tap our forge. And I like that quite a bit. We could snare it, though. But we're not going to proliferate, so I think we are going to partition. And like I said, I don't think this is the... I don't think this is the uh, emperor. I think it's the apparatus, so this is going to be fantastic. Pass the turn. Yeah, buddy. Come on, play that app, Russ. You know you want to. Yeah. Is it spell? Exile target, non-land permanent. Yep, so it comes down. And then... Boop. Oh, feels pretty good. Feels pretty good. <laughs> it's not broken, but pretty good. Pretty good. And we get to minus Sahili if we want again, but I don't think we're going to. We are going to, man, I think we would have had a good chance if they didn't counter that first one. But I could tell we threw their clock off there in the tank. Maybe they, they have, they're sitting on the, where are my words today? Scrutiny, right? Scrutiny is pretty good though. I mean, we're only going to get him for four damage. They get to draw three, refill the hand. 
I think they're trying to read what Sahili does. That's why I'm trying to draw as much as I can off of Sahili. We don't particularly care for her ultimate. It's really just plus, minus, plus, minus. Okay. That's a good sign. I'll take it. So, let's... Let's augury first, in case there's something we want to do. Ottawara. I, yeah, I guess, right? It still bounces stuff. So, take the gas. Deliberate. And then... Just do... Turn target only to its owner's hand. We're gonna decline that one and leave. Oh wait, wait, we could play a land. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I was I want to leave up the snare in case we have to protect our forge because right now it's kind of our only win con, unfortunately. Now, perfect world would be if they simply play their sixth land and pass the turn, and we could get there. Ooh, that'd be so good. Destroy artifacts of Mena Valley 3 or less. Bounce. And we do get to proliferate. Alright. If they have the counter magic, they have the counter magic. They're, we did what we could, right? I'll take it. I will take it. Tap, tap. And either way, we gotta take some damage. But we get in there, so I'm okay with that. And let's just minus again. I think, so we still apply pressure to our opponent. Okay. Alright, so they don't get to hit us with the apparatus. So close. Let's. Yeah, I think we still draw. I think we just keep trying to stay ahead on cards here. Bottom that. Let's see where this trade of tap that. Eh, not great. Not great. One. Two. Three. Four. Play Modrak. And in a pinch, we could sack her. So we could sack these two, right? To So if they try to hit us with the Twilight, we can keep our Mondrak. Salvo doesn't look like it's going to be doing much. We also have protection with Serum Snare. Attack for one. Negate the one they gained with the Cove. Apparatus. Gosh, do we bounce it or not, right? We play this. I'm halfway tempted to. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to. I'm going to bounce it. Yeah, I'm going to bounce it. I hope I don't regret that. Hope I don't regret that. One, two, three. So that also means that they weren't planning on farewelling. And we could still, if they do have the board wipe, we can... Yeah, I think we're okay. It thinks we can't. Okay, that makes us two tokens, right? Okay, all right, all right. And they could still play the other apparatus. So that was a good draw from them. Do we pop this or not? No. Yeah, buddy. All right, I think we can kill them here. Wait, no, undo that. I think we can kill them here if they're just gonna apparatus. 
I was almost sacked. I almost sacked the Thopters. I think it's just apparatus. If they have Emperor here, like, good on them. But I think we're good. I think we've managed to pull this one off, which is kind of nuts. Right? Go to combat. Yes! Oh, that felt good. That felt really good. All right, we're going first. This seems okay. We get to go... Uh Oh. oh a little less great, but we'll keep it. I was thinking that was our forge, but it's the reservoir. That's all right, though. We'll make it work. Not going to take one, though, for it. We'll see what the opponent does, and that'll kind of dictate... Like, well, we have lightning strike. So, yeah, I think we just play it like this. Play it like this. We're not the Modrak. Let them kill it. And then we'll see. On it. Here we go. <clears throat> All right. Player land. Send it back. Here, here. Either way, we're gonna take a poison, so I think we just gotta deal with it and kill like their stronger things. Luckily, their removal is kind of limited. See what I did there? So we're in a bit of a pickle. A bit of a pickle indeed. The chorus. Okay. Guess we lightning strike here just to keep them from getting corrupted, right? Or keep us from being corrupted. Let's go here, play Modrak. Right, so we have a blocker. <clears throat> Fortunately here we are going to get corrupted. All right. So let's block the one that doesn't, yeah, we'll block here because this would just give him another attacker. Corruption online. All right, all right, we, we got some stuff and things going. So we could put a counter on there, but I think instead we want to make sure we can kill the singer. So... Go here, make two dudes, and attack, but we'll hold control so they don't gain this life. Oh, we already lightning struck. Oh, shoot. That was my bad. So we totally should have put a counter on there. It's my bad. Yep, that was my bad. I was thinking this was the lightning strike. That's a problem. That is a problem. Got stuck on my head. Hmm. Interesting. Those all resolve. Go to blocks, block here. All right. Seems okay. Put a counter here. There's the lightning strike. Fortunately, we didn't hit the land. Oops. We can kill two things, but I don't think, I think we just want to go big here. Yeah, let's go to combat, make two dudes. Two dudes attack. We... Lightning strike. We just have to wait here, unfortunately. 
Let's make a dude because we're gonna lightning strike. And I'm trying to think. I wonder if we should have just fired it off because they probably play a protection spell. Okay, cool. They didn't. They still get the other one. We have two blocks though. So we're not dead here. We're at five, right? That's interesting. Why would they keep that one? Huh. Very interesting. <clears throat> I got you. I see what you're trying to do. I see what you're trying to do. All right. And counter here. Another lightning strike. All right. So we don't get to make two dudes. <clears throat> we get to kill both their things, though. We're at six. This is going to be close. This is going to be close. Very close. I wonder if we should have attacked with everything. That doesn't really do much. Do we just go for the lightning strike again? I think we need blockers. I think I think we need blockers. Unfortunately. So let's go here. And then make two dudes. And then lightning strike before they have protection. And then I think we're okay now. So I was wanting to leave up the salvo, but I think we need blockers. Yeah, okay. I, I think we're actually okay now. And I think we might be able to kill them on the crackback, which is kind of nuts, really. Because <clears throat> these are going to be huge. They're only... I think we let all this through and then maybe attack on the crackback. We're at eight. Counter here. I think we actually got it. I think we do. And a proliferate as well. Oh, man. Yeah, let's do it. I, I think we actually pull this one off. That's kind of nuts. Oh, so close. Wellspring. None of these do anything. But I guess we take the damage. Or the damage spell. And then... Kill one of them. These guys are going to be huge. Swing with everything. And this alone is enough to kill them. Yes! Oh, wow. That was a, that was a good one. That was a good one. I wasn't sure about that. Ooh. This one's kind of interesting. Yeah. Let's see if this works. Let's see if this works. This kind of has our combo, doesn't it? This is two or fewer. So we go like this right ooh that'd be kind of sweet man it would be kind of sweet not gonna lie let's see if we can pull this off we're on the play that's a step in the right direction let's see what the opponent's got going on those are cool sleeves not as cool as transformers but they're cool so wellspring with nothing going on potentially some jund so the problem is they can kill our forge, right? Because they run um, the Jund damage spell, right? The Inferno one that we like so much. I think we are going to go ahead and get this because that way we immediately get a counter on it. And then, yeah, yeah. it actually works out because we have the blue and we have the white. So, yeah, we go three and then these two. All right, all right. We get a counter here, so when we proliferate, we can put another counter to draw. Let's see if they grab another green or not. So they may be like a Titania list. Okay, there's black. All right. Definitely something to keep in mind. Let's get in there. Boom. All right, all right. There we go. Yes. We want that on top, actually. We do want that on top because then we get to play Celestis 
and we could make dope. We can't make dudes. I was thinking of the other one. We could draw. Yeah, actually, play Celestis, play land, and then we can auger. These are not enchantments, so we're good there. So let's put another counter here. Can also just play her and minus, which I don't absolutely hate either. That doesn't seem horrible to me. We could bounce. They're playing Jun though. Do this plus proliferate. We get to draw. Draw, destroy enchantment, remove up to three counters from target permanent. Oh, we actually do have to get rid of her. All right, so I guess let's go. Let's get Sahili going though. One, two. Yeah, we have to. We're just gonna. We're just gonna partition her. I think. I think we kind of have to. So let's go here, and then get our damage in while we can. Bounce her. We don't get to draw. But we do get in a little bit of damage. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's us do two things. Draw. Yes, we'll leave that on top. We'll leave it on top because then we could play Sahili minus and play and then draw a card off of our Wellspring. One, two, three, four. So let's see if they are a Wind Grace deck or not, right? I mean, we could have risked it. I guess as well and played Sahili and minus so we have blockers but I wouldn't be opposed for I wouldn't be surprised if they had two removal and then we lose Sahili and they get to minus count it just yeah I think this is gonna be better and we can we can even just double the double facade the forge if we want as well but I like the idea of auguring at the end of their turn because then we can find a Modrak Mondrak. They're in the tank, so they have quite a few decisions. And like I said, we can also do like augury. Maybe we should just start drawing. Ooh, okay. Alright. That's that's good for us. I feel like that's good for us. So they have a pause, so that's cut down. Right? Let's cut down what we're thinking here. So do we want to just make this too big for them to hit? We can minus here. Tap on tap the artifact control. We could tap that, leave her kind of defenseless. It's not the worst play though. And then Augury. Play her and draw. Yeah, they definitely have cut down. So let's it's plus so instead of minus. With a beautiful piece of art. We get to scry. We get to go look. Maybe we find. All right, a land can go to the bottom, and then we will tap that. Get another land. I think we just draw. Put a counter here. They could still cut down, right? No, it'd be four, so they can't cut down. We can... Let's just proliferate. Let's just proliferate. Put a counter on everything. Right? And... Oh, we need that bolt one turn sooner. Uh, this guy can definitely escalate things over bolt for that guy. No, we, we have plenty of ways of putting counters on our forge. I think, I think we're going to keep the bolt so we can kill the fable. I think that's what's going to be important here. I think that's what's going to be important here. We also get to scry a little bit too. Hmm. Yeah. I, I feel like it's cut down. I feel like they left up cut down. Alright. Scry, Modrak. Mondrak, come on. Nope. Land to the bottom. Ooh, talk about Flood. So they're going to pitch two things. They could play Glissa, right? Glissa can eternally block our Forge token. 
but we get to draw one, two, three, four, five. We can also, no, it's not going to do anything. Unfortunately. Hmm. Not quite sure. A lot of options, a lot of options. All right, they pitched. Go for the throw. I feel like that's a good sign, though. They are going to get a treasure. We drew that a little too late, unfortunately. Was there a point? I know we kept a land to play it. I guess if we bottomed it, would we have still had the mana? We would draw the bolt a turn sooner. Okay, cool. All right. This is this is good. This is good. I'm okay with this. He gets to draw two cards next turn. I like this. You're not impressed. Just say so. Oh, Dak. Dak, why? Why, Dak? All right. Plus. I mean, we can minus as well. So Healy. Like bottom. Tap to draw. Now we get our proliferate dude, though he can block. Counters on there are kind of pointless right now, right? So let's just draw. See what we can get. Come on. We got to deal with Glissa. Okay, there we go. All right, all right, all right. Now, now, now we're sitting okay. So... Fortunately, that's going to resolve. Did we play a spell? We didn't, right? So this is actually going to let us discard the forge to dig a little bit. Oh, that's right. And they're tapped out. And this, oh, yeah. I was thinking of doing it on defense. We get to do it on offense. It's freaking awesome. Yep. We're going to do it anyways. Uh... Does it leave up? Yeah. All right. We're going to do it anyways. Because I think it, I feel like it's cut down. I don't think it's protection. I think it's cut down. If it is Tyvar's. All right. Cool. Cool. So only need to leave up the bolt. We can already draw. So I guess we just. Oh, wait. Oh, my bad. My bad opponent. I didn't realize what phase we were in. Sorry. All right. Let's put a counter on you. And then leave up the bolt for Fable. We get to scry. Yes! All right, cool. <laughs> I like this. I like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, the problem, I will admit, the, the minor problem that we have here is the fact that they could play one two three four five six seven so there's a little bit of incentive to no because you know what they didn't they pitched a scrap gorger and they could easily just play a land and still play a titan anyways right i think we just kill the reflection i think that's how we lose i think we lose if they kill reflection so i like where we're at here I mean, they have to have specifically Titan of Industry to blow up our forge. If not, the engine's online, man. The engine is online. They don't have a wing. Oh. All right, this is this is this is good. This is good. I think we have it. I think we have it. I'm not going to use the bolt until they attack because we want one less blocker. They go up. Yep. This is looking pretty good. They are leaving two mana. So Modrak can bite the bullet, unfortunately. There's no way. Oh, oh man. We can minus Sihili first. So there's. Two. I guess we got to wait and see how they tap out. Because they did pitch a go for the throw. Because that would just be... Yes! Yes! Alright, cool. We're good. We got this. We got this. A victory. Perhaps the turning point. Yep. Let's see if they attack. They do. Excellent. Excellent. That's only one, though. So that's fine. 
Let's bolt that. Oh, I should have done it before they got the tote. Uh, I messed up. But we I didn't have them. We already had them off of Tyvar. All right, cool. So they're double dead now, right? We can pitch the Tekuthal. Did I say that right? A land. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we're going to pitch the land. So here... That should be game, right? Put counter. Put a counter here. Put a counter here. And then minus her as well. Right? Go here. Activate to draw. No! Ah, sad face. Okay, our opponent's going first, but we have interaction, so I think we can keep this. Okay, so let's lead off with the Crucible. Granted, hopefully they play a chick. That's what we want to see. Yes! Excellent. Exactly why we play the Bolt. Exactly why we play the Bolt. Go here and hold the destroy evil for warfare, I think. I think we have to hold it for the warfare. Mm. It's war toughness. We can destroy that, keep our life total up. They missed their land drop. Yeah, I'm going to kill it. I'm going to kill it. Yeah, because we could bounce. Okay, okay. All right, I'm feeling a lot better about our position here. A lot better. Uh, let's Celeste this because we're going to need the life gain, and I don't think they're going to be able to get this guy too big here, right? They either play a Warfare or they pump him. Okay. That's interesting. What? Really interesting. Okay, okay. There's our boo. There's our boo. Play Forge, leave up Snare, get the counter. All right, all right, all right. I'm feeling pretty good about things now. Feeling pretty good about things now because, like I said, we can... Let me silence my phone before it rings again. There we go. Yeah. Now that we can bounce this guy, proliferate here and here, and start getting it pretty big. <clears throat> Another one with backup. No, what? Why does Serum Snare just scare people? Ugh. <laughs> well, we're going first. <clears throat> all right. I'm going to keep this. We have all our colors, and we're going first with a Forge. So hopefully we can sequence things a little differently. Right? I'm going to try to hold... Still missing our second blue. <clears throat> mono white. So is it mono white aggro? Mono white mid range. That is the question. Oh, if, are they passing? That's so good. Yes. Oh, you know what? It's probably soldiers. They're going to play the reinforcements. No. Ooh. So Sahili. <laughs> I am going to Sahili here. Oh, we could also just plus. You know what? I'm going to Sahili plus. Yep. I'm going to Sahili plus here. Over minus. And... 
This plane's beauty is inspired. No, we're looking for a blue. It's a removal spell. That is something. There's not what we're looking for. We do get to bounce that though. <clears throat> Silly goes down to one. I didn't think about that. Oh, all right. I've got some good ideas for next So I guess time. I guess we could have. So let me think for a second. We could bounce that, <clears throat> get value. That's not great. Seacrum Coast, that is the blue. So let's here, here, here. No, we didn't even get to have our fun yet, sad face.